And the question is, how does the brain decide which memory to store? Well, that's quite easy. It stores all of them. Now, what you're talking about is recall. Anything that happens when, you, when you're in a heightened state, like making love or, uh, or being really excited or, you know, like jumping up and down or you're scared or you're frightened or anything that gets your state up, you'll remember. Because in a heightened state, you'll remember everything. Um, so that's why you remember all those things. Like if, if somebody tried to run you off the road, like, you know, and then you jump out of the way of the car, gets your heart rate going, gives you a bit of a shock, you're going to remember that for the rest of your life. Whereas all the other hundreds of thousands of times you crossed the road, you don't even remember it because nothing dramatic happened. Uh, it didn't cause uh, your state change, you know, put you into, into, a, into a state which you will remember. Do you know, like being at a rock concert, if you've been to rock, you'll remember that every little bit of that. You'll be able to recall that 10, 20 years later because it was in a heightened state. So basically, if you want to remember things, get yourself excited, get yourself enthusiastic, get yourself going, wow, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be amazing. I'm going to love this. This is the best thing in the world. And then your learning accounts. Um, but do it in, a, in an excited way. Be excited to learn that. Learn how to use a calculator, you know, like for an accountant, for an accountant. New Ridge is an accountant. He loves calculators. Gets on, get, gets, gets off on calculators. Anyway, right. So, yeah, excited. Boom, 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 boom. Be happy. Jump up and down a bit between your studies, whatever it is.